My name is Waiter. I'm from Singapore. Today I will present to you my CS50 final project. The title of my project is to build an open source website. Now I will show you my website first. So this is to access using the internal IP address. If I want to use the external IP address, I will use a proxy server. So I set manually set my proxy server to proxy.singnet.com.sg and port 8080. So now I can go directly to my website. This is a website that I created over the past few days. It is programmed using HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL. I bought a Raspberry Pi for this website, and it costs about $0.64 cent per month to run this website. And previously, I used desktop. The price was quite expensive. It cost about $11 per month. And quite expensive for non-commercial purpose. So this page is for me to write my blog. Well, whereas the home page is for me to share with other people and the people around the world the open source things that I've created. For example, I created this roboscope. This roboscope it's good because it allows us to measure the frequency of the ceiling fan, the pump, and the auxiliary equipment. And now here, it shows the user what component they need in order to build a stroboscope. So get started. It's to teach the user how to set up the stroboscope, how to calibrate it to ensure the accuracy is there. There are also two videos that show user how to use the user-friendly interface. The user-friendly interface are actually is actually like a GUI that allow people to program easily. There are two kind of sketches that can be used in a stroboscope the AVR code or the Arduino sketch using the assembly language which is AVR code using the AVR code is better because it saves memory space and it has a faster execution time if you use Arduino sketch it will be less efficient and consume more memory space now here it teach the user how to start measuring the frequencies of the fan This was a project that I created. This was a problem set zero that I created for CS50. And it used the sketch. The title is Cat at Fukushima. So I also programmed this about page, about my interest, and about this website. About this website it is licensed under a Creative Commons Share Alike license. Everything here is open source, and the source code, the instruction, methods, images, videos, and website are all licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. So you are allowed, you are free to copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format, but you must give appropriate credit to the author and indicate if changes were made. You may do so in any reasonable manner. You can also remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially, but you must distribute your contribution under the same license as original. So this is a contact page. The contact page consists of a chat box and the email, my details here. This chat box is program using the PHP and the MySQL database. Now I will demonstrate to you 
So we have the CDS50 Hello World. If I leave this name and the message blank and click send, nothing will happen. You see, the CS50 Hello World is still here. So now I put CS50 Final Project and click send message. I'll see that the message appeared here. Now I will show you the server, the Raspberry Pi server that is used to run this website. So we go to remote, then stop connection, and the local IP address, the internal IP address. Now I'm logged into Raspberry Pi already. I will show you the folder that I put my PHP files. So it's in the www folder. All these are the PHP files and folder that ensure that the website is running well. We have the index.php. That's how you see the contact.php where I put my chat box and the about page, the blog page, and the term and condition page. This is the index.php but inside here it is divided into many portions. First, we have a header. You will take this header from configuration folder and header1.php which is located here. Each Individual posts will have one PHP file. And all these are the files, individual files, link. And lastly, we have the footer. So we have the block. The block is just itself there with a header, with a post, there's only one post and the footer. So here is a CSS file. Okay, I've come to my end of my presentation. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.